Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're gonna be talking about the S19J Pro, which has got a shipment of more than 100 units right over there. So we're gonna be installing those later on, but in today's video we're gonna be talking about the board, the overview of the miner. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe with the bell, go to CryptoLLC.org. If you're interested in us setting you up a GPU or ASIC mining farm, got a ASIC mining farm right over here, 1.75 megawatts. We're replacing a bunch of S17 pluses, you can see them there on the floor, and we're replacing them with these newer upgraded versions, S19J Pro 100 terahash. They use almost identical watts. All right, oh, before we get started, uh, Bitcoin saves your wealth, Jesus Christ saves your soul. All right, so we got the S19J Pro 100 terahash, and giving you guys a little close up of the hash board. They have changed a lot of things, even if you compare it to just the uh, S19 Pro, the 110 terahash is the one we had. This is the J Pro, and if you look at it, it is a lot different. First of all, the heat sinks are in a different shape, got more nuts on them, different locations. They are also pulling out these, or pulling in these, um, additional brackets you can see from the other side that they completely changed this is the first time i'm seeing bitmain or basically any motherboard that when you flip over the board instead of having the regular green board that you see on like motherboards and you know pcb board it's not green it's actually like metal it actually it, it feels like metal it looks like metal but basically the board itself is like inside of the metal let me try to get a focused shot of that but it's like inside the metal very very interesting I've never seen that before I don't know what that is um, but it does look nice and it it looks like it's probably more durable a lot more durable like I show you again if I flip it over you don't see any chips on this side unless you take these off Otherwise, you don't see any chips. Just remember, S17 boards, S19 boards, they have chips on the other side. They have like little microprocessors, little resistors, uh, little, you know, little tiny chips, that voltage regulator. A lot of those things will be on this opposite side. But on the S19J Pro, they're all gone, right? They're all on one side only. Very interesting. Looks like a huge overhaul of how these boards work. Again, I go over to this side. They are just, they simplified the board. It looks like they completely simplified the board. I see a lot less chips. If anyone, if anyone ever took apart S19 10, uh, Pro 110 tire hash or S17 Plus, they have a lot more chips on this side and on the back side. Now the back side is empty. This side just has way less. Very interesting. I'm sure if I take these off, I'll just have those chips coming in, going in like the, I'm assuming the same way, just starting from chip one down to chip, uh, I think it's 124. But uh, I get, also it's an increase of chips. Uh, the S19 Pro had 114 chips, and this one has 124 chips. So it's an increase of chips. Looks like the chips are different because the frequency is the same, 525, just like a S19 Pro. So it looks like they added more chips because they're probably different and they're running at the same frequency but it's only doing 100 tera hash. So they got slower chips that produce the same efficiency but you have to have more of them. So, so it's a different setup. But, or maybe it's uh, maybe it's the lack of uh, additional, you know, mic little microprocessors on the sides. Who knows what it is, but it looks great. The board looks great. Um, other than that, it's got the same two, negative and positive, same connector there. So that's all about the same. Now, let's look at the actual miner. So the miner is very similar to the J Pro, I mean the uh, Pro 110 tire hash. It's very similar. It's got three boards, same exact nuts here that are holding down the plus and minus. They actually put a plus and minus now. That's really nice before you had to use a multimeter if you if you you know forgot which one's plus or minus or if you don't know they had to put a multimeter on there and figure it out but now they have a plus they have a minus that's great now you know which one it is you have to think about it you just you just look at that 
same three boards all pop in same connectors then we have our four fans one two three four over here power supply looks very similar to the 110 terahash regular pro I don't know if they're compatible they might be compatible I'll have to try it out or or uh, talk to talk with a tech at bitmake see if it's compatible with uh, so I could swap these out swap uh, you know interchange interchange these ones with the pro 110 but the uh, control board also similar now the SD card this is very interesting this this control board is a little bit different than another previous s 19 j pro i took off it had a top board here with an sd card that slides in here so you have to take off the cover to then use the sd card on this one that top thing is actually gone even though this is the same batch of miners we got and this is a hundred terahash miner let me plop that in so it's interesting that they also don't have it standard look at this it's got a little micro sd well not sd but micro uh connector there so it's a little bit different uh again first time i've seen that on a bit main very interesting see right there it says s19 pro 110 tera 100 terahash 110 100 terahash it's interesting that I took apart a different miner from the same batch, S19 J Pro 100 Terahash, and it had a top with an SD card in there. Now this one has this micro USB, and it's interesting that that micro USB is there. I, I'm, I'm assuming you need to buy the top. Don't you don't need to buy the top? I mean, where does the SD card go? Very interesting. Maybe they want you to run it off of this, possibly. But whatever the reason is, it, it's interesting that in the same batch you have two different control boards that are being run. One with an SD card and one with a micro USB. So whatever that means, we'll see. I have to talk to the tech to see what that means. Now, more changes compared to the S19 Pro. You have these metal circles right that protect your fingers from getting chopped off by the fan these are now black they're coated look like they're coated black so that's good it probably be better looking as time goes on you know those ones get pretty ugly they kill so many you know well not a lot of bugs they mostly just like particles of dust even though we have a filter on it still gets through when it runs for like a year and it gets uh, dirty on these circles and it just doesn't look great right these ones are blacked out so that's great also the uh, power supply also all black so we'll see we'll see how uh, that turns out the fans have been changed I can see that they're using different fans I also looked at the back of the fan it's different to s19 uh, pro so that's also changed um, it looks like they changed the manufacturer for the fan the nuts are also black rather than silver same thing over here so little changes like that but basically the biggest one I would say is a change in the motherboard the motherboard just looks a lot better it looks way more simplified they removed a lot of chip they made it way more simple it looks like they hired a different engineering team to build this motherboard right to build the board look at this it looks so good heat sinks everything they also uh got heat sinks on the back oh that's another uh, change there so on the s19 pro 110 on the back like this is the back on that back it has those individual hits heat sinks that are put on as you remember on the s19 110 on this one it has these three just one two three heat sinks and they're all put on this thermal paste you can see the thermal paste there it's this pinkish thermal paste so they changed that as well basically this is like a big huge change we'll see how it works we'll see if it's a big improvement or not but yeah so those are the changes hope you guys like the video you know what to do hit like subscribe at the bell go to cryptollc.org if you're looking for us to set you up a gp or asic mining farm best best uh, time to buy right now these miners the these 100 
Terra hash miners at our at our around 3,000, 3,500, depending on the Bitcoin price. The price of Bitcoin did go up to 23,000, so you know it just depends at what time you purchase it. Prices always change, but they're around 3,000, 3,500 for these guys, and you can get them, you know, in about a month if you wanted to. It's a good price. Uh, GPUs are way down. Then you can get 3080s at like $600 or maybe more, maybe less. Again, depending on the price and availability. But prices are way down. So if you were holding off and not setting up a farm, right now is the best time to do it. And that's going to be it for this one. Until next time. Bye.